someone's teacher, why don't you get taught it like that? You were like my lover and my best friend, all wrapped in one with a ribbon on it, and all of a sudden. His fucking monster. No, hold on a second. You, All over the car. You, you. And he wants to use my sanitary towel, unused in my bag, to mop up his mess. Listen, you just need a nap. We have gone cranky now, and when you go cranky, you need a nap. No. Oh my god, I can smell your belt. Ew. Oh. Sorry, the, the smells come out of you are nothing compared to the little wind that came out of my mouth. <laughs> We're in traffic on the way to the airport. <laughs> ah, I'm Laura. And I'm sniffly. Hi. Well, Dean and I sort of got an upgrade. Uh, when we checked in on those kiosk things, not only were we not seated together, we were both in the middle of like strangers. So there's like a row of four and we were like in the center, which is not ideal. And we were like bummed out about that and like oh. and then we looked to see about pricing up and it was like 250 quid on top of that to get seated together in a nicer area it was like so i said you know what i'm gonna chance it so i went up to the customer service lady i was like hi like we're not looking for better seats we're just looking to be seated together so she showed us two seats that were still in the middle of the four but at least we were together and i was like oh my god thank you so much and then she was like you know what i got you one better so she actually put us to the very front where there's extra leg room, we're together and we're on an edge and beside the jacks. The dream, the dream. I sincerely doubt anyone from Air Canada watches my vlogs, but if you do and you happen to know Jodie, tell her thanks very much. I'm also gonna tweet Air Canada and tell them how appreciative we are of her help. Also on yesterday's vlog, I checked the comments and everyone's saying leave the food stuff in because people can find it inspirational. And someone actually left a comment along the lines of, you're showing how easy it is to be vegan when out and about, which is, the aim of the game, so I'm gonna leave the food stuff in. Speaking of food, let's go get some. So I'm here at Thai Express. We're a bit stuck as to what I can get, and I noticed that they actually have vegan options on the menu. So I can have the Thai fried rice. I can have the pad salad. Um, yeah, there's a few different options here, so I'm gonna try and make something, and I'll see what I'll come up with. Not too shabby, eh? Laura ain't gonna starve, that's for sure. Oh my god, look at all the leg room we get. We can have activities and everything here, Dean. <laughs> look at all the leg room! Okay, so we got in pretty late that night, straight to bed, got up really early the next morning, like 8 a.m., and went on a cycling tour. I didn't catch too many clips on the cycling tour because, to be honest, it was very go, go, go. Um, so I wouldn't particularly recommend this cycling tour company, but I'm going to show you what I got. Wow. -y. So cool. Um, and they're they're really good builders. It's a very strong structure. They. Yes, that's basically all I got from that day. It was a bit hectic. Next clips are going to be from a bus tour we took the next day. Another early start. And I got some pretty cool footage, so I hope you enjoy it. We're about to go on one of these babies. You know, are you so excited? Excited. We go into the sky! Oh god, it's picking up! Oh dear! <laughs> Oh, the hood's coming off, lads. Oh, look. And I'm going to the railing. We should probably look this. Oh, man! We should actually probably be fit. Oh, Dean! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Dean! Oh, my arse is fucking freezing. <laughs> oh, isn't this gas, Dean? Oh, this is gas. You yeah, holding on? Yes. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> look. I don't know what size to be looking at. Imagine if you just heard a... Oh, man. <laughs> New nappy. <laughs> Cardiac arrest here beside me. How's the heart rate? I'll tell you in a second. I'll just do this. Look how cool this is. We're going up into the clouds. Well, it's probably more like fog, but I'm gonna say we're going into the clouds. <laughs> I know I don't match by the way, but um, let me just tell you, Laura's health is more important than her style. But I'm after spotting a suspension bridge. How do we feel about this, Dean? Terrified. Absolutely petrified. Oh, well. Loads of people saying they're not gonna do it, but I'm kind of okay with it. 
as she cautiously edges forward. This is okay. <laughs> We're walking through the mountains or hills. Mandro does. <laughs> it's so weird that there's like snow and it's raining and it's not what? nice. What? <laughs> oh, it's like watching Rocky Balboa. <laughs> the boxer. <laughs> Jean Claude, maybe. This might look excessive, but it's my idea of him. On my long, slow trip heading up to Whistler. <laughs> now we're at, can you see that? Brandywine Falls. Actually, if you know of any destinations that have nicer weather than this, but not too hot, and lovely, easy, nice trails with rivers and waterfalls and greenery and nature, let me know in the comment section down below because we're plotting our holidays for next year already. <laughs> yeah, stuff like this. Stuff like this. Other places like this. See, New Zealand is kind of like this. If you got that in the right weather, you'd be laughing. So guys, look what we found. Okay, water. More water. That is so cool. Apparently the waterfall is extra strong at the moment because of all the snow caps melting at the moment. This is so cool, isn't it, Dean? Do you like this sort of stuff? Yes, very much so. So after kind of stumbled upon a bit of a view. It never shows up on camera the same way it is in real life. I promise you this is spectacular. Whistler Village. Cool name for a place, isn't it? There's bears here. Here in Whistler, look how cool this place is. This reminds me of Lapland. When I was about like 12 or 13, my mum woke us up in the middle of the night. Oh, here we go. About three days before Christmas, woke us all up and said, come on. We all got dressed, dozy as F, popped into the car to the airport and she flew us to Lapland for the day. And this kind of reminds me of Lapland. Yes, I was a very spoiled child. We went to Trevolgan once, very got sick out of our Nissan Sunny. <laughs> I mean, Trevolgan is a We have holiday. different memories of holidays. It's not every day that you have this view when you're having lunch. Fab. Oh, I finished my lunch. I couldn't finish that. It's way too much. Um, it's two salads. It's two. So yeah, it's basically two salads in one. Leftovers from last night, and then what I got this morning to bring on this trip. I'm sickened because every time I get a salad from like a salad bar and bring it with me, thinking there's going to be no vegan options. There's always really good vegan options. Um, so we basically just kind of strolled around the shops. Dina just made a really good point that we could have done a hike, probably. We were properly dressed. We, we didn't realise it was going to be so cold. Well, we're just kind of walking around Whistler Town. It's actually gorgeous. Oh my god, it's stunning. But as you can hear, I'm also still kind of sick. It's just a head cold, like it's not a big deal. I'm just... I want to shake it. Shake it off, shake it off. And that was the end of our day and the end of this vlog. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoy and I will see you in the next one. Bye.